Well, n not on a wicket like this because uh, you know uh, it was a good wicket initially, but you know it remained quite the same. You know when we batted, okay, only 77 odd runs were needed, but still there was not much for the spinners or the fast bowlers. In fact, for fast bowlers, you know, uh, it became slightly better to bat against the fast bowlers as the game progressed. So, yes, what we want to see is two good sides competing against each other. So the equation of toss, you know, goes out of the equation in the sense, you know, uh, it doesn't have the same kind of importance, you know, that it may have if the wicket starts to turn after the first day or, you know, after one and a half days. I think what was important was to, uh, you know, open up at least one end, you know, so that uh, we can create create a false sense of panic, you know, but there was not much really happening, but, you know, you can play around with the field and force the batsman to commit a mistake and, you know, more often than not that happens at the start of the innings and as the game progresses, as the batsman spends more time, you know, it becomes uh, slightly easy for him. So we wanted to open up one side. Uh, also, the thing that was in, in the back of our head was, you know, uh, our bowlers had bowled a long spell, you know, bowling for like two, two and a half days, you know, uh, you need a lot of uh, uh, stamina to do something like that. So, we didn't want to use part-timers a lot because we felt you know, there was not much for them. And also, we had to keep in mind that the opposition doesn't, doesn't score at a very brisk pace because uh, we were not sure when we'll get them all out and then we'll have to chase the amount of runs. So we had to be calculative and the good thing it paid off in the sense, you know, Oja gave us the valuable breakthrough, you know, right at the very start.